So for those of you who are still using the NeoFilm LSP installer, you should be aware that this plugin is no longer uh, maintained by the developer, William Bowman, uh, Bowman. He has furthered his development to the Mason and Film plugin. And this is basically still built on top of the same foundation as LSP installer, but with some enhancements. Like for example, now it, besides only installing and managing LSP servers, we, he also added the ability to uh, install DAP servers, so uh, for debugging, linters, and formatters as well. So uh, for that, uh, you also need to install some additional plugins like uh, Mason LSP config for your uh, language servers. And I assume you already have LSP config set up if you are watching this video. Uh, and Fim DAP, and that's for those of you who are using the uh, DAP plugin for debugging, and then no LS, which you can use for both linters and formatters, uh, or else these individual plugins. But yeah, what I'm gonna do in this video is just show you how you can quickly set this up. And if you still have any configuration set up with, for LSP installer, uh, for your language servers uh, and your clients and so on, then you need to delete those and start using Mason and Vim. Now, if I go to my uh, Neo Vim configuration uh, folder and I go to my Packer config file, I see I need to scroll down over here. And here I have my LSP installer uh, plugin, which is highlighted over here, uh, where my cursor is at at the moment. So I'm going to delete that line. And what I want to add is the LSP installer or Mason and Fim, I mean, so this one over here. So we can add that like this. And be uh, note that it should come before LSP config, the Mason, Mason con, uh, plugin. Um, so as I mentioned, we also need to add this plugin as well for our LSP servers, uh, Mason LSP config. So go to that repository and then you can go to, oh no, this is LSP config by the way. I need to go to this plugin. So let me click on that. So I want this one over here that goes below this one. And as you can see over here, uh, they point out that it's important that you set up the plugins in the following order. So make sure you have that. As I have over here, save that, uh, reload this file, and then I'm gonna call Packer Sync. Yes, I wanna delete LSP installer. Yeah, so we have set that up, installed that correctly. Uh, I can close this file, and what we need to do right now is create a Mason module, Mason config module in a dot Lua. Let's go to that file over there, and what we need to do over here is do require Mason, and then just set up like this, and require Mason LSP config and also set up, save that, oh, spelling mistake over here, save that, go back over here in my main init.lua file where I can require this module, Mason config, like that, save that, and now I think we have access to those commands. So for example, Mason is a command, yeah, and this will open up the language server as you can see. And I already have some language servers installed, as you can see. Uh, but you can choose, you can filter down the list to, for example, just LSP uh, servers by pressing two, three, four, the uh, DAP servers, four for linters, and five for formatters. And the key bindings to install it is basically still the same as with uh, the LSP installer plugin. So you can press I for installing, U for update, and so on. But you can take a look at the uh, config file or the configuration example in the Mason and Fim uh, repository. You can scroll down 
I think this is almost identical to LSP installer. So you can take a look at that here and change anything if you want to in the UI or whatever. And let me go back to the Mason LSP config repository. Um, yeah, this, so this repository, for example, also allows you to install LSP servers easily with the LSP install. So like this, and then whatever language server you want, but you can also use the, yeah, if I would, for example, install something with this uh, command, so for example, PyWrite, which I already have installed, doesn't really matter. So LSP install, it will open up the Mason interface over here. Uh, so that's pretty nice. And else you can also install with Mason install uh, and all the other commands that you have available uh, with that plugin. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, one thing that I also want to point out uh, if you like, for example, I used to have the LSP installer uh, configurations here set up, so I deleted those. But you do need to set up other things like, uh, for example, this right here with just your LSP config uh, with the LSP config uh, plugin. So, for example, to set up PyWrite and whatever other uh, uh, language service that you have. So, for example, uh, I would have. CSS LS and what else do I have? I uh, let's see, let, let's open up Mason. I forgot what other ones I have. Yeah, Emmet. It's also another one. Emmet LS. And I also need another one for a DS server. So these are the servers that I would uh, I use mostly, or like a programming language that I use mostly. So uh, that these ones are. Oh no, actually we can still add one. Uh, copy paste. Copy these four lines, and then I want to do uh, sum sum. Well, what is the name of it again? LSP install sum. Sum, or sum neko lua for lua sum neko no I already forgot it sum neko lua and this just comes from your uh, from the LSP config uh, plugin so if I save this and I for example would open up another terminal to go I'm gonna make a test folder cd into that and I'm gonna open up a Python file, let me open up, zoom in a little bit. So now I also has, yeah, everything still works. The language server still works. Oh yeah. Well, at least it is working. So uh, test, dict, return. Yeah, so everything is still working. A little bit slow for some reason, yeah. Okay, but at least the language server is working. I can also uh, test a HTML file uh, index. Dot, wait, I'm just gonna index.html. Save that to test if Emmet is working. Yeah, so as you can see, it works. So everything is still working and everything is set up correctly. Uh, yeah. If you are stuck with something, please let me know in the comments. But it should be pretty straightforward uh, how everything works, as you can see right here. Uh, just read the uh, yeah, read the documentation over here in the repository or the README file. But you also have access to uh, documentation. For example, uh, if I would open up, let me close this terminal over here. If I would open up the uh, let's see what yeah Mason. Yeah, you can see that there's a lot of uh, documentation over here that you can read um, if you want to know more. So yeah, that's what's something that you can do. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so get rid of LSP installer and start using Mason.